veteran out for a Jeep ride. Not in our Jeep. He's got his own Jeep. Uh, we're going to take him out for a trail ride out to Tosahatchee today because that's been a very easy drive for people. You don't even have to get out of your car and you can make a nice little loop through there. It doesn't take too long and it's not too far. It's just off of Highway 520 right between Highway 50 and Highway 528. Well, welcome to Florida Jeep Rides. We're right outside of Jungle Adventures, just a meetup place to go up to Tosahatchee. And uh, this is swampy. Jungle Adventures is a, a locally owned and run place. It's off Highway 50. Uh, once all this stuff is cleared out, why don't you come out and take a look at them. Uh, got bears, gators, animals, even a crocodile off in the corner. Today we're riding with Steve and Ann. And we're going to Tosahatchee, waiting on one more Jeep to come with us okay. to take some people out. Well, Steve's driving in his JK, we're driving in our JKU, and Sean should be around here shortly. I don't expect much anything out of these. These trails are all two-wheel drive. scanning the dirt road in front of us for snake trails. Snakes leave distinctive trails across the dirt road. And you can actually tell which way the snake went by the way that the dirt is pushed backwards from its direction. So as it moves forward, it pushes a little bit of the sand opposite of the way it's going. So you can tell which side of the road to look at. Many times a snake will cross a road and then just kind of hang out on the side. But so far, I'm not seeing a bunch of trails. Here you go. Uh, in our last video, uh, the dawn of isolation, uh, we talked about a prescribed burn that was probably about a month old. Uh, this prescribed burn area is well over a month old. Uh, as you can see, the, uh, the undercover has already started coming out. Uh, the palm trees, they have a, quite a bit more growth. Uh, pretty awesome to see how quick it comes back, but it's still very uh, movable. But some of these little scrubby things like this, they're, they're, uh, they're done.
So, prescribed burn, again, this is probably anywhere from three to five months ago. Uh, came through, cleared out a lot of the stuff, so there's nice, nice new foliage, flowers, uh, and plants to be ate, as you can see all this nice new, new stuff right here. Growing up, stuff to eat for some animals. It clears out a, all the junk. The ferns are coming back up. The palmettos are coming back to life. Uh, it's just refreshing everything. These palmettos will get so thick through here that you uh, can hardly walk. And one of the things about the palmettos is rattlesnakes love the palmetto plants. The tree fell down, it's a woodpecker home. So that's where we're stopping. I'm gonna walk forward a little bit along these ditches. Uh, the ditches are normally full of water, but we've had so little rain, this whole area is dried up. You hear the woodpecker in there? Tosahatchee. It's Indian word, of course. And yeah, there was a uh, meeting with some of the Indian tribes here. You've seen history about it. I put it up before on a previous video. You can see the link below to it. Uh, it is bordering on the St. John's River, which we're gonna get to in a little bit. But in the meantime, I'm walking a little bit. Eventually, they'll figure out that uh, I've walked down the road and I guess Randy will come get me. Still back there. Thistles. Don't grab a hold of them. They line the road over here. When they grow, you can actually eat the stems. The stems are edible down at the base with the plant. Down here, this bottom part, it's a little prickly, pretty hard to get to. Maybe eventually they'll figure out that uh, I'm walking. heard me talk about it often. Uh, these roads are for maintenance and access only. There's signs that said road closed to vehicles. Do not obstruct roads, gates, or fire lines. So when you see those signs, stay off that road. That's not for you to go driving on. I don't know how long it's going to take them to figure out that I'm uh, not walking back. Hope Randy doesn't think that I've uh, gone into the woods. Now I gotta walk all the way back. Well, I wanted social isolation, I got it. I walked down the road to film them driving and I don't know, they never got back in their Jeeps. Now, I have to walk all the way back. I must have walked a mile. What's she doing? She's out in the middle of these woods somewhere looking for me. <laughs> Great. So Randy's out in the woods looking for me. 
thinking I'm still in the woods, but I'm on the road. Here she finally comes. Now watch, I'm gonna get chewed out. You're not allowed to do that without your cell phone, okay? I didn't know where you went in. I started to walk into the woods looking for you. See, I told you, I told you I was gonna get chewed out. Yep, especially for the dream last night. Oh, since I had a dream of being attacked by dogs. And trying to yell at me, and I couldn't, he couldn't do it, so. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see you walk down the road. They just told me that's where you had gone. I came down this road so I could get a shot of uh, the Jeeps coming around the corner. Then I kept on walking. And I kept on waiting. And I kept on walking. Yeah, I kept on waiting. And I kept on walking. And then I decided to go into the woods looking for him. <laughs> I'm just glad that he's okay. So after that little adventure, I'm coming up to this creek. And uh, this is the creek. Dry, dry, dry. So the creek bed is completely dry. Sometimes this area floods out. I am in the woods. Look at that. Dry, 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 dry. Oh, wait, this is a little creek running through here. Now it's just dried up. A little bit of water in this part of the creek, but it looks awful stagnant. Maybe he just came out. Oops, spider web, spider webs, tick territory. I'm wearing my snake boots, so don't worry. Ooh. There goes a the snake. There he goes. He's a black racer. You probably can't see him, but he's down in there hiding, nice and nestled. I don't think I can get him. He's a good sized black racer. Nope. Sometimes you can get him, sometimes you can't. You win some? Yeah, lose some. No snake this time. Sorry guys. They call them black racers because they're fast. And they're kind of hard to catch. So, we lost that one.
that's Highway 528. They are doing some construction all down the side of 528. Looks like they are preparing for the high-speed rail that's going to go from Port Canaveral uh, right on in. That's the only thing I can think of because there's no reason to build a secondary highway right next to a major highway. But a rail system makes sense. Well, this is Lake Charlie. Uh, some man-made ponds that they used to build the, the bridge area on 528. Birds, alligators, and hingas, and eagles times a year. Off on the other side there's eagles nests. Uh, on occasion you can see them. Today it's a bit windy. Yeah? yeah? Let me explain something real quick. Other than boats launching in this area, when you see an area that's all nice and trampled down and cleared out, a lot of times that's because that's a favorite sunning spot for a gator. Um, sometimes you can see smoothed out mud, so called gator slides, where they sit on the bank and they can do a quick retreat. So you may think that this is a great opportunity to come down to the edge of the water and look out but it there may be a gator down there waiting for some skinny scrawny two-legged cow to come so he can get something to eat this florida we got gators and before we're done today we're going to show you some gators lots of flowers in here Purple flowers. Lots of purple flowers. And this, this right here, this is sawgrass. Sawgrass, you can go this way with it, but if you try to go the opposite way, it's full of little barbs, like a saw blade. So moving through the sawgrass one way, pretty easy. Moving through it the other way, it's gonna cut you open. And that's the wild Stevius and Aneus, natural inhabitants of this area. This particular breed of Steve actually grew up in this area. And he used to run fuel trucks out here when they were building the highway. So we are now moving out of the uh, Palm Forest area. And we're going to move out to the St. John's River Basin area. Uh, the river basin is open and grassy. 
totally different environment than what we've just been driving through. And this is what it looks like. And just like that, we went from palm forest to open grasslands. wasp next to you. There's a gator. There's a bunch of gators. Look at this. Look at these gators. He's probably going to go down under. But you see that gator there? And then right past him there's another gator. Right now, the St. John's is very low. I've been out here I've been out here a lot of times and I don't think I've ever seen the St. John's River down this low. It's been a while. So we're definitely at a time of drought. I'm following a cow trail along the edge. Gators are in there. Osprey and osprey. note about the St. John's River. It's one of the few rivers that actually flow north. It starts all the way down to the Everglades, travels all the way up along the peninsula of Florida, all the way up into Jacksonville, Florida. Well, there's one bigger one out there, but that one... He didn't catch his fish. Well, right now, as you ride down the power line road uh, from St. John's River, uh, you see a lot of big gators in St. John's, but on each side, there's a gator. Um, there's a gator. So there are gators of all varying sizes, from, from young gators to older gators. Here's the thing about the older gators. They will sit there so still that you swear they're dead. And they're just acting very much like the ambush predator that they are. They're sitting there, they're waiting for something that says that's just a log, and then that log blinks at you. And you realize that it's just saying, come on down, why don't you just join us in this water? I'm just a log. two gators that you would have sworn were dead. Right now, we're going over the, uh, the first bridge.
part of this Tosahatchee is a place where you can also take a break and take a walk down the Florida Trail. It goes over this creek, it's marked, so you send, you send down into there, and then you can find it easily because this is the big bridge. So, bumpy, washboard road. That is an afternoon out of Tosahatchee. It's only 12.36. Uh, so we've only been out here for a few hours. Uh, the trail, pretty much, if you just follow it around, it, it can take as long or as short as you want. Thank you for joining us at Tosahatchee Wildlife Management Area between 520 and Highway 50 south of Christmas. And we just went out for just a deep ride. Tosahatchee Wildlife Management Area, Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. A easy, easy ride. Easily, you could do this solo if you want a place just to go out and take some pictures of some birds and some gators. Uh, just come out here. It's kind of hard to get lost because there's really only one way in and one way out.